This is exciting because people are finally getting a chance to dive 200 years back in time and learn more about House Targaryen. Was it the wig? Was it the sword? Was it the armor? What was it that made you officially feel like you were in a Game of Thrones show? Oh, what, what, what was it? Um, it's a very Yeah, I suppose the wig and the sword do a lot of that. We had a wonderful costume designer called Yanni who really tailored everything beautifully. and It felt medieval, but it sort of had a sense of fantasy. And I suppose that sense of fantasy is when you really feel like you're in a show like this. Um, but yeah, you know, it was... Uh, and, yeah, and the scale of the sets and stuff, it all... It all adds to the experience. I heard the fantasy got a little real, though, when you got um, smacked in the face in one of the uh, fight scenes, one of the battles. Fabian, Fabian <laughs> tell him off tonight when you talk to him. He, was, he wasn't even in a battle, right? It was in a rehearsal, and Fabian was just being sort of uberly enthusiastic, like a young buck. And I'm like this old boy going, right, it's a rehearsal, we'll take it slow. And he chinned me, but it was all right. <laughs> I lived to fight another day tell the tale but yeah. when it comes to uh, being a dragon rider there is a, there's a different kind of like bucking involved you guys are on these mechanical yeah. uh, contraptions I guess I will yeah. call it what was it like riding the dragon in the volume and did you ever get thrown off no because they harness you in <laughs> and that stage that volume stage is a bit dry to be honest with you because you think you're going to be in like this like amazing wonderland and you can't really make it out but the buck's quite fun you're on like a remote control and someone's there moving it around sorry darling and um and then they fire a load of wind and rain at you, and yeah, it's good fun. Beats working for a living. Absolutely. I mean, it's so much more fun to sword fight for a living. Yeah. Well, that makes the day go quicker. And it's good. It's like a bit of physical exercise. You, you get your steps in. Well, last thing, we are in you know, peak fantasy television right now. Yeah. Um, we're also getting a new Lord of the Rings series. Yeah, Is there any? Really excited about. Oh, really yeah. excited. Well, because my friend's in it. Who's your friend? Moivid Clark, who's such a brilliant actress, and we just did a film together. Also, I love Lord of the Rings, and um, I think I think the tra I think it looks fabulous. I think it looks so good, and she's just so she's such a fantastic actor. I, I can't wait to see what she's done as Gladriel. For our fourteenth Doctor, oh, um, have you guys had a chance to connect in person? Yeah, not in person, but we've we've well, mate, we've we've talked, uh, you know, via uh, via WhatsApp. I'm so excited for that. I think it's the most sensational bit of casting. What an actor. Um, he's brilliant uh, in sex education. I think, he's got, I think he's got something other that that part really needs. I think Russell has such a sense of the show as well. And um, I'm really, really excited to see where Doctor Who's going. I love Doctor Who. I'm, it's forever in my heart.